It goes without saying, for those who know Wally Simons, that in the program, I think he has the shortest bio. And so I'm going to fill it out because Wally uh, provided that bio. And as humble as he is, it certainly warrants a few extra words. Uh, 16 years ago, an attorney that the college worked with called me up and said, do you know Wallace Simons? Apparently, Wallace, apparently Mr. Simons won an important court case against the FDA at the Supreme Court. Yes, it's true. Wally took the FDA with uh, others in the compounding pharmacy community all the way to the Supreme Court to assure the rights of compounding pharmacies. This vignette certainly says something about Wally Simons, his steadfast determination and conviction to stand up for his rights as a U.S. citizen, a pharmacist, and founder of one of the country's first, largest, and best compounding pharmacies. More to the point, Wally has always stood up for his beliefs, for truth, and for what is right. The story is dramatic and important, too, especially for the millions of women and men, and even animals, who've benefited from bioidentical hormones and other compounded medicines, and for the physicians and practitioners who treated them. However, it barely scratches the surface for why Wally Simons is here to deliver the commencement keynote and to receive the honorary degree Doctor of Naturopathic Sciences from SCNM. Wally's generosity supporting SCNM began at the school's conception 25 years ago came to its aid during a turbulent time early on, helped develop the women's medicine program under Dr. Debbie Smolinski, supported SCNM's medical center construction in 2010 and the community commons in 2015. Wally Simons is a founding donor and supporter of the Naturopathic Education and Residency Consortium, which has launched over 70 naturopathic residencies over the past 15 years. He's equally generous with his time and sharing his expertise, offering guidance to a generation of naturopathic physicians and other integrative practitioners. And Wally is one of the most knowledgeable clinicians in the world when it comes to endocrinology specifically and integrative medicine in general. I'm not sure how many conferences he, attended each, he attends each year, but I've rarely been to one where I have not run into Wally Simons. He's an expert and an advocate for emerging therapies. He's an avid proponent for hyperbaric oxygen therapy. In fact, he and Vivian have a hyperbaric chamber in their home. Now, while he's not the only person that I know who owns one, but he's so caring and giving that he's invited people in need to his home to use it. In fact, I have a dear friend who was incapacitated with Lyme disease who practically moved into Wally and Vivian's guest house so she could receive an extended course of treatments, and she recovered. Wally is a man of faith, a beloved husband, father, and grandfather. He is one of the most positive, genuine, knowledgeable, and dedicated people I've ever met. When I think of one of SCNM's core values, we love, I think of this man. Ladies and gentlemen, Wally Simons. Dr. Mittman, thank you for that introduction. But I want to say good morning, proud graduates, parents, family members, friends, alumni, and teachers. I am so honored and humbled to be standing before you today. I thought for sure you had to be somebody really important, or maybe an alumnus be able to get this honor. I want to start off by telling you that I am a pharmacist, as Paul mentioned, for those of you who don't know. And I said I, I have never been a regular type of pharmacist. And by that I mean that in the very beginning of my career, my family used to say, Wally, how can you be a pharmacist? Be so anti-drug. I said, oh, that's just for people who don't know any better. And I haven't changed my thinking on that a lot since. I moved into this great state from Wisconsin in 1995 to open a compounding pharmacy. Three things brought me here. The weather, the fact that I was a lot closer to California where 25, 20% of my business originated, 
and the medical climate. I'm sure there are those among you who know the name Abe Burr. And I understand that he gave up his MD license to become Arizona's first homeopathic physician. He was really proud of the fact that his license was number one. Southwest College of Naturopathic Medicine was founded in 1992. Not long after I arrived, I was introduced to NC and M, and I can truly tell you that I love this school. I love what you learn here, and I love what you practice here. It appeared to me that for the first time I was being exposed to medicine, where the goal was to find the cause of the illness rather than just treat the symptoms. And we're often told that we are standing on the shoulders of those that came before us, and this school has a long list of those giants with broad shoulders. Michael Cronin was the president when I arrived, and he was surrounded by a board of great people. They included Michael's wife and practice partner, Kyle, Kyle's father, Hugh Hawk, Dana Keaton, Deborah Mainville Knight, Petey and Conrad Kale. Conrad was actually the second NANP president, and he chaired SCNM's Board of Trustees and played many roles in advancing naturopathic medicine here and across the country before his untimely passing. These people were committed with passion to an awesome vision. It had to be tough. It was an extremely brave undertaking. In fact, I believe that my first contact with Dr. Cronin was him calling to ask if I could help with funds to meet a Friday payroll. Wow, have, things been, there, have, have there been some changes in things since then? There was a movie starring uh, Robin Williams, who played the part of Patch Adams, a medical student. If you have not seen that movie, it could be a great watch even today. I remember the scene where the professor was proudly saying that the mission of the school was to turn these students, these medical students, into a machine. What a sad story. And I'm so glad that the mission of SCNM is in the opposite of that sentiment. Paul Mittman, as leader of SCNM, has taken this school to a whole new level. I came across a copy of the message from the president, which is given to prospective students. And I don't, I'm not sure how many of you read or remember what it says, but it starts out, and I quote, a physician emerges from the student the way a figure is released from the marble by the sculptor. The spirit of the healer is already within. SCNM helps students to use their talent, intelligence, and compassion with knowledge and experience to become physicians who help restore the sick to health, to cure. End of quote. What a concept. I cannot express enough how special I believe you are. You are in a very unique position and I feel the rumble of a new revolution. I felt that same rumble as my business was growing and going through a tremendous resurgence of what a pharmacist actually taught to do. More every day, I hear people asking about or trying to find a naturopath. Trust me, that didn't happen 20 years ago. And how exciting it is for me to see all of you becoming a part of that revolution. And I really hope that you will look at what we're celebrating here today as just the beginning. Because I know in my profession, I learn 90% of what I do after graduation. And there was a naturopathic seminar here in Scottsdale in November. And one of our pharmacists assisted me in the booth. 
She's a really sharp young lady. And she left that weekend blown away by what she learned just by conversing with a few of the attending physicians. We must never stop learning. And there's a saying that you will be the same person five years from now as you are today, except for the people you meet in the books that you read. In your case, let us hope that it's the people you treat as well as the people you meet and the books you read. In preparation for this day, I ran across a presentation delivered by a man who just used verbs for his entire pre presentation. So I would like to end with a few of these type of words. Live, love, hug, create, explore, be passionate, laugh, be kind, express gratitude, think abundance, work hard, take risks, follow your heart, trust yourself, imagine, embrace change, be persistent, be honest, grow confidence, dream big, be generous, pay it forward, and take initiative. And finally, remember you were created by a God of the universe, whatever you want to call that. And as a result of that creation, I want you to go forward knowing that you are whole, you are complete, and you're lacking in nothing. Congratulations. God bless you. Thank you, Mr. Simons. Your hard work, altruism, and dedication to the medical community inspires us all to greater achievements. In honor of your accomplishments, I'd like to bring back to the podium Dr. Mittman to recognize your remarkable body of work with the conferral of an honorary degree. With the authority vested in me by our Board of Trustees of Southwest College of Naturopathic Medicine and Health Sciences and the State of Arizona, I hereby confer on you, Wallace Simons, the honorary degree Doctor of Naturopathic Sciences with all its rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Thank you. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.